Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin for July 12, 2018. And today, the Mexican peso got appreciated given a context of uh, no news about the trade war and this is taken as, as, a good mesh, as a good situation. Also, we know that the threat has been issued, that the retaliation by China has been exposed and that there will be hard situations in the following days but at least today given another context of data well markets will uh, improve a little bit in these terms the mexican peso got appreciated with the bloomberg dollar spot index in a decrease of 0.09 percent oil went up uh, it got it got a mixed result between the west Texas intermediate from the u.s and the brand from north sea at europe but the truth is that the u.s dollar went down as we already said, with the Bloomberg Dollar Spot Index. The uh, Libya or Lebanon uh, production is potentially increasing because of their military issues, are, or, or, or it seems that it's, they are over. The US uh, Energy uh, Agency expressed that they are willing to increase the production up to the limit, capacity limit, given the compensation required because of the missing exports from Iran given sanctions, Venezuela given sanctions, Libya if they keep with their military problems, Norway, Norway with their um, strikes, Canada with their electricity problems, and other countries with the, with the incapacity to increase production given budgetary issues or other type of uh, situations like OPEC members in some, in some specific cases. So with mixed cross information, the oil went mixed, but specifically for Mexico, the West Texas, Inter West Texas Intermediate and the Mexican mix went up. In the USA, employment uh, applications went uh, 214,000 when it was expected 225, so it's better. And consumer prices went up 2.9% in the annual uh, measure, which was uh, estimated, but well, with that data specifically, it seems that they will work under the idea of gradualism for the normalization of the rate. Now, the issue here is that Harker from the Fed of Philadelphia stated that if inflation keeps pressing, they, he will impose or, or, or move on with the Fed to improve, to increase not only one, but even two times the rate up to December. So we're expecting at least one increase maybe by December. And then he's saying that if inflation keeps going on, then they will have to increase another time. And that will bring a decrease in the spread between the Mexican and the U.S. rate, then a depreciation of the Mexican peso, a reaction from the Banco de Mexico to increase its own rate, and then an increase in the price of financing for Mexican companies, bringing a potential slowdown of our economy. So that's not the greatest scenario, but it seems more plausible for, for the scenario now on in terms of monetary policy. For NAFTA, there is a said to be a potential agenda for the end of July to begin again negotiations. We will see what happens there. And uh, Banco de Mexico exchange uh, hedges were demanding 3.68 times the $200 million offered for 30, 30, 33 days. And what we are seeing here is basically that uh, it went like a little greater volatility than the previous days. In terms of the spread between banks, it seemed also the volatility increased because it went up two cents to 1.11 cents or one peso 11 cents, respect yesterday. And support for the US dollar Mexican exchange rate, uh, 1850 to 1860 range, and the resistance 1930 in the wholesale market. But the linear trend for the following 30 days in terms of the situation regarding the uh, last 12 months of, of that inter interbank exchange rate seems to be depreciation trend. So it's, it's uh, complex. This is what we have for information today. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for your attention.